Today, seven reasons you're going to love having a cassette toilet and four that you may not. Number one, unlike a conventional RV's black tank, when stuff goes in here, anywhere that you can legally do your business, well, you can dump your business from this cassette toilet. Stick around until the end and I'll share with you all the places we've been able to dump a cassette toilet over the last three and a half years and our most memorable dump. Coming in at number two, you only have to find a conventional dump station when you need to dump your gray tank. And since when you have a cassette toilet, you can dump that thing anywhere that it's legal for you to do your business. Well, when you're riding around, you only have to look for dump stations when your gray tank gets full. Three. Three. <laughs> Three. Less waiting in line at dump stations. You know the drill. It's your last day. You're in a hurry to get on the road and go home or go to your next campsite, but all the tanks are full. Well, with a conventional RV, you've got to stop even if it's just a black tank that's full. So you pull up in that line and you wait on every Joe and Harry and everybody else to do their business. And then you go up there and it's your turn. With a cassette toilet, you only have to do that when it's a gray tank. And we found that we can go a lot longer and we can be more selective about when and where we dump that gray tank. Which means when it's time to leave that campsite, you just drive on by that line of people at the dump station wave at them they're the ones that don't have a cassette toilet and number four believe it or not there's less for you to carry the cassette toilet has its own little bay that it sits in and you never have to worry about that but back in the day whenever we had a conventional black tank we would carry from 30 to 50 feet of slinky stinky hose because you just never know if you're going to be able to reach the hole in the ground that you've got to dump that stuff into and not to mention all the connectors and the elbows and the little thing to sit it on so that it stays at a downhill flow. So these days, we travel with a very small 10-foot slinky stinky that's only used for the gray tank, and it stores right beside of the cassette toilet. It's a lot less to carry. Number five, there's a lot less to go wrong. Ever heard of a poop pyramid? Has it ever happened to you? I'm sorry to say that it has happened to us. Have you ever had to get your black tank cleaned out professionally? You know where they come in and they rinse it and they spray and they do all that work. And then they hand you a pretty expensive bill because, well, it's a crappy job, especially when it's someone else's crap. With a cassette toilet, those things will not and do not happen. You just do your business. You take the little guy out of his little compartment out there and you dump it wherever you can find a place to dump it. And you don't worry about poop pyramids. Number six... Well, there's a lot less to go wrong with this thing, but if it does break, it's easily replaceable. You see, it has very few moving parts, but even some of those can be replaced at home. But if it gets to the point where you can't repair it, you can replace the whole thing for less than $200. Try doing that with a black tank. Number seven, you get to use your toilet in your RV or your van on the very last leg of your journey for each trip. Now, what am I talking about? Well, the drill is, if you've got an RV, whenever you check out for the last time, most of us don't use our toilet on the way home. Why? Because we probably don't have a dump station at our home. Now, some folks are lucky enough to have a clean-out spot there that they can dump into, but we've never been that lucky. So what would happen to us is we would leave that last spot, and we would have to go to rest areas and restaurants and other places, even if it was a 10- or 12-hour drive. Now, with a cassette toilet that can be emptied anywhere that we find that's okay for us to do that, one of those places, a bathroom in our home. So, okay, those are seven reasons you may love the cassette toilet, but don't get too excited and run out to Walmart and try to buy one. Because here are four reasons that we think you may not actually like to have one. Number one, it can be heavy and awkward. So if you wait till that little red indicator comes on, that thing is going to be heavy. And if you have to carry it to a bathroom or a dump station because of the terrain or other reasons, then it's going to be awkward and it's going to be difficult to carry. And if it's full, lifting it up and dumping it can be both heavy and awkward. And trust me, it can lead to hurting your back if you're an old man like me. Number two, if you miss, it's going to be a mess and a hurt. And trust me, you're going to miss, especially if you're dumping it at a dump station. You're going to need a lot of practice to be able to hit that little hole every single time. And although I have a video that I'll link up here that shows you how to do that and not spill a drop, the truth is most of us are going to spill a lot more than a drop. And when you do, it's a smelly, stinky, nasty mess. And number three, 
Speaking of smelly, because there's no trap in a cassette toilet, if the fan is on or a window is open or there's a breeze, there's always going to be a small odor when you're using the bathroom and you open up the little chute to let your business go down into the cassette toilet. There are a few things you can do to kind of mask it. There are a few things you can do to hopefully eliminate it. But if you just use it right out of the box the way it came, you're going to find that if you're used to an RV toilet not smelling too bad, well, it's going to smell a little worse for a cassette toilet. It not only smells when you're using it, but because you're so close to the business end of that nozzle when you're emptying it, it's going to smell then too. And the fourth reason you may not like having a cassette toilet at all, well, you're going to have to deal with your own business a lot more often. You see, this thing only holds five gallons. If a typical RV's black tank holds 30 gallons, you can do the math. You're going to have to empty that at least six times more often than you do a conventional black tank. And I would not suggest letting it get full. So you're really looking at maybe seven to eight times more often than you empty your black tank. So if you're thinking about getting an RV that has a cassette toilet or adding one to your current rig or maybe going out and buying one and seeing if you like it, I can't guarantee that you're going to love it the way that we do. But we love it mainly because of the fact that we can just simply dump this anywhere we go and it opens up a world of possibilities. Now speaking of places that we have dumped this cassette toilet, some of these places may surprise you. Over the last three years, we've dumped our cassette toilet at all of these places at least once. Dump station, rest area, Flying J and Love gas station, a city waste water treatment plant, paid dump at a campsite when we're not staying there, a rest area with bathrooms, trailhead bathrooms, too many vault toilets for us to even count, porta potties, our own bathroom in our home, the bathroom of some of our friends' homes, gas station restrooms, restaurant restrooms, and Taco Bell. I figure if Taco Bell gives you gas, you should be able to release it there in their restaurant. Ferry terminal bathrooms, bait shops, repair shops for automobiles, repair shops for an RV, camping world, both inside and at one of their dump stations, beachside bathrooms, and lakeside bathrooms, and a couple more that, well, we just won't list. Our most memorable dump or Cousin Eddie, as I call it, and with a cassette toilet that's really a cassette Cousin Eddie, well, our most memorable time of doing that, a porta potty out in the middle of nowhere in California at the beautiful Alabama Hills. It allowed us to extend our time there by days and days because we could actually empty into that porta potty. Now, that's our favorite place that we've ever dumped our cassette toilet. And as much as I may regret asking you in the future, leave us a comment down below and let us know what place sticks out in your mind as your most favorite Cousin Eddie spot for your RV. And remember, this is in no way a complete or comprehensive list. And while this seems like a gross subject for a video, it's really not. Since the dawn of humans being on this earth, we've been inventing different ways to deal with our own stuff. And you see, RVing at its core is just traveling to beautiful places, trying to find a place to sleep, trying to find something good to eat, keeping fresh water and drinking that fresh water, and then finding a place to get rid of what comes out the other end. And remember, this is just our opinion, not to be confused with truth or facts. It's just our opinion as we see it today after three years of using and having the convenience of a cassette toilet. We may be and probably are wrong about some of this crap. And all this talking about our cassette toilet has me thinking once again that I need to take the Browns to the Super Bowl without Baker Mayfield. What are you doing? Taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> 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 Here's hoping you enjoyed this video, and if so, leave us a thumbs up, and many of you had joined our little family by subscribing over the last few weeks, and we're really thankful and grateful that you're here, and if this is the kind of content that you want to see from us, make sure you leave us a comment down below and let us know, and until we see you again down the road soon, maybe even at like a Taco Bell when we're emptying our toilet, happy tales.